What's up, duelers? It's an ERP here. And I went ahead and created two new decks that I am comfortable playing with competitively in S rank. Uh, as you know, there's my Argeon Lionar deck. And I have my mid range card deck with all the minions that I played last time. Those might be updated, so I just wanted to show you my deck. And um, so I went ahead and made a couple decks with the other Vanar General, which is a Fey. Basically what this deck does is it does a lot of face damage, which is attacking the enemy general directly, very, very quickly. And it aims to win the game like maybe by the uh, maybe by the sixth or seventh um, mana core. So it can win in probably around six, seven turns if you're lucky, but it's very draw dependent and has a lot of minions, a lot of spells that can do some damage, and it's it has an okay winner. I think I do better with my Lionheart deck still, but it's a lot of fun to play really quickly. And then um, here's my Mechazor deck. The reason I chose uh, Fey for it was because I went ahead and crafted myself one of the Spirit of the Wilds. I already had one, and playing this card effectively allows you to have a Mechazor with a rush. So that's really the only reason um, I chose Vanar with it, so I can have access to this card. So yeah, today we're going to just play with the... Maybe I'll play with both. I'll start with the aggro. We'll see. So those are my new decks. Um, my next faction I'll probably dive into maybe Magmar um, I, w I think a like Abyssian might be the strongest faction but I don't know Abyssian seems like what should I get rid of here let's get rid of just that right now Abyssian seems like the strongest faction, but has a lot of really, really strong legendary cards. But I don't feel comfortable playing competitively without. Okay, that's why it was good that we replaced because Saber Spine Tiger is like the perfect counter to a Chakri Avatar. And. I could actually. No, I can't do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Wings of Paradise. I might actually remove that card from my deck. I don't find myself playing it that often. If I play this... We're actually going to save that. Could play this Blood Tear Alchemist right now. But I'd rather hold off for the first turn. And be able to grab this mana spring next turn. And next turn I'll have four mana to work with. So yeah, if you look at my hand, I have Blood Tear Alchemist, Flame Blood Warlock, Frostwind Naga. These cards are all capable of just whittling away at the enemy general. And the reason um Fey uh for Vanar is the best general for like a really really fast aggro deck like this is because of her Bloodborne spell. It's the only Bloodborne spell in the game I think that will deal damage directly to the general, to the enemy general. So basically every other turn um, you're dealing two damage to the general. Kalser, did I wish him? Good luck. Well, I guess a little late now. wonder what he's thinking. It's been a while on his turn here. And then I have spell jammers in the deck because with an aggro deck you play a lot of small minions which means you'll run out of cards in your hand so it's good to have some extra cards. Okay, I'm fine with him killing that. Remember, I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible and he actually doesn't have a play so that's pretty amazing for me. Um, that gives me a chance to just fill up some stuff on the board. I think I'm going to go with a spell jammer and a crystal cloaker. Uh... Yeah, I don't see why, uh, what else I, can, I'm, I should do. I'll get rid of the Frost Naga. 
So I'm going to move forward. I will spell jammer here. And I'll crystal cloaker where, where it has to infiltrate. And then I'll just attack with my general. Okay, so far a very good start. And here's the Araki Headhunter, which is actually in both of my uh, Fey decks because this deck has a lot of opening gambit cards, so this thing can amass a really high attack and deal a lot of damage to the enemy general. I actually went ahead and crafted another one of him. I did some in disenchanting and crafting. I disenchanted a couple legendaries that I don't use. Yeah, like, look at my hand right now. Like, this is opening gambit, this is opening gambit, and this is opening gambit. So this thing gains a lot of attack. It gains two attack when replacing with opening gambit. And then it works also well in my Mechazor deck because all those Mechazor cards, they all opening gambit um, to get you closer to Mechazor. Okay, what is he doing here? Alright, Phoenix Fire. That's gonna die. Okay, big play he's going for here. Another Phoenix Fire. Like, he's gonna kill that. Which I don't really mind because now he won't he'll be stuck at two cards now. And healing mystic. Okay, tough choice now. Um I think I'll get rid of the crystal cloaker because he has moved closer to my side over here. So let's get rid of the crystal cloaker. Hearth sister, that was actually a pretty good draw because now I can actually move move something now I can clear his board of minions what I'm gonna do yeah I guess I'll move that there I'll play this. And I'll attack there. And then play the Blood Tier Alchemist. Down here in case I want to grab the Mana Spore and not use my general to move it out of the action. There may have been a way to play that turn. Where I could play the Rocky Headhunter first, Headhunter first, and it would have five attack now because I played two opening gamut minions, but I'm not sure. Maybe I wouldn't have been able to clear the board then. Even though I'm trying to deal as much face damage as possible, it's still important to keep his enemy minions at bay, especially when I'm not that close to winning the game just yet. Okay, uh, so I currently in my hand don't have any way to kill this four wins magi. I think I'll s still chromatic cold it because I can't really af uh, afford to let Kalser heal his general and this thing heals the general when he plays spells. So I'll use that and then I have, I can actually play three things. I'll get rid of the, I promise this is pretty good, I'll get rid of the Iraqi Headhunter. I think that's the play. Maybe I just hold on to my whole hand here. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get ready there, Rocky. That thing. Okay, well, we'll start with Chromatic Cold. We don't want him healing. And then I will Wings of Paradise Primus Fist. So I'll put five damage on the general plus two for my general. He's down to nine health. Yeah, that top deck of the Wings of Paradise, I guess, was pretty good. Put it in a place where as the board stands down, he can't deal any damage to it. And this thing is just nice to place down because um, if it can survive without being dispelled or destroyed, you can just fly anywhere with 5 attack as long as you replace a card. 
And I have good options in my hand to win the game possibly next turn. That's going to protect him a little bit. So it l looks like I can win the game next turn. Yep. That's going to be it, right? Snowpea sure it doesn't help me. Okay, so all I have to do, so this is 5 attack now, because I just replaced the card. I'll fly up here. Deal 5 damage. Deal another 2 with my Warbird Bloodborne spell. And then playing the Flame Bud Warlock will finish it off. Well played, Kalser. That was a good game. I'll give him a little tip. on um yeah so that was a pretty quick game because this deck is pretty aggro um i really like Faye. It might be my favorite general i always like lionar but i think i like vanar now because i have three vanar decks and one lionar deck uh let's go ahead and just play aggro this video i'll do more Try to keep it like a single deck per video. It's probably less uh, less confusing that way. I definitely like Faye as general. I think it's using my playstyle. I like being aggressive. Sometimes with these duelist decks, it's tough to be aggressive. Let's get rid of Repulsor Beast and Frostfire right now. Repulsor Beast might be another card I take out of the deck. I haven't had a, a lot of use for that yet. And we're playing another Faye, so I wonder if this is going to be aggro and aggro. Hmm. Tough choice here. I c I'll get rid of one of the Wings of Paradise. Um. So I could play the Flimbrod Warlock and then play Hearth Sister to move this closer to me and kill it. I think that's what I should do. Or I could kill it with a chromatic cold rather than take three damage from my general. Yeah, it's probably better. Because he might be playing a uh, really aggro deck as well. Um, I just really chose. This, this is a tough choice, I think. I could always just play this back here, and no, I think I gotta play two things this turn. So I'm gonna start with the. Yeah, I'll just do this. Flame Blood. And then a. You know what? We're not gonna kill that right now. We're just gonna play. We don't want this to die to anything just yet, so I'm gonna play the Crystal Cooker all the way back there so it can't be attacked. Because next turn, I even though it looks like I'm not going to be able to get it to the enemy side of the battlefield for infiltrate, the Hearth Sister will let me get there. Yeah, so I think that was a good turn. Interesting to see how this game plays out. Spell Jammer. Fine, that might just help us both. Okay, I guess we'll trade with those two minions. Fine. down now here's a tough choice I could actually destroy his spell jammer like pretty well because my crystal cloaker would even survive the attack um I don't think I want to though because he has more cards than me so I can catch up to him in cards yeah I, I could actually do it very easily but I'm gonna go ahead and hold off th with that Instead, I'm going to, let's see, let's get rid of the chromatic cold right now. Life Flame Blood Warlock, all right, so let's move two up. Then I will play.
play the hearth sister. To switch places with that. Play the flame blood warlock. And deal a lot of damage. Even you play the I'll just empty my hand. Yeah. So he's down to twelve, I'm at seventeen. And this allows me to draw some couple more cards. Means I know Vanar isn't gonna be able to like it's not like there's any tempest that I have to be worry about. Oh, I just made a huge mistake. I completely forgot about Warbird. He just destroyed so many minions of mine with that Warbird. That was a really, really bad mistake. I just lined up so many minions and he was able to do another one. Oh, he's playing a Mechazord deck. Interesting. That was bad. Wow. I'm surprised I made such a bad play. Um, let's get rid of the Crystal Cloaker. That was a tough choice. Do I... I think I have to play the Snowpiercer. Deal a bunch of damage to it. Um, I guess I'll play this, and then I'll hit this as well. Man, I'm really mad at myself for making that huge mistake. That's probably going to cost me a loss. Like, it probably will. He has six cards and then five mana. Hopefully there's no, like, provoke. Problem is, these are kind of slow to get going. I'm not going to be able to attack right away. I really wish I had a Saber Spine Tiger in my hand right now. I'd feel much more comfortable. Repulsor Beast. If I had the Repulsor Beast right now, maybe it wins me the game. Repulsor Beast, please. No, not Repulsor Beast. Uh. Okay, in that case. You know what? I'm still in pretty good. I'm still pretty good, because he's probably not going to be able to play Mechazord next turn. Well, actually, he needs three Mechazord units, so maybe. But I don't think he'll be able to play Spirit of the Wild with it and make it a rush. So now I need to run away. I will... Because I know next turn I can deal two damage with the uh, Bloodborne spell and another two with my Chromatic Cold. So as long as I use the Blood to your Alchemist to get him down to 4 health, I should be good. I have to protect my general though. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna sacrifice this. I was gonna consider trying to keep it alive, but really what does that do? Well actually either way he's gonna be able to attack me with this boy. This big boy. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna have to go like this. Yeah, one damage there. Okay, so now we just pray. We pray he doesn't have a like a healing mystic or anything to. Oh, actually no, healing mystic. I still win the game because I have a flame blood warlock. Wow, that huge mistake. I'm not gonna say I'm out of the woods yet because a lot can happen with six cards and six mana for him. Like that, and I think he just won the game. That's gonna be game. So close. Or no. Does he not have the win? Doesn't have the win on board, but I assume if he's playing that card, he's going to go for the... Wow. This is really nerve-wracking right now. Can he win the game this turn? He needs one more damage. If he has a... If he has a Blood Tear Alchemist, he wins the game. If he has a... Promise Fist, he wins the game. Oh, well, he's out of mana. Wow. Not really sure why he played Spirit of the Wild, then. Did that actually help him out? That Spirit of the Wild? 
I don't know. Why did he play that? Well, that's gonna be it. I can actually just win with the flame little Warlock, so I'll do that to make it closer and end up with only one health in my general. That game, I almost feel like I didn't deserve to win because, like, I made that huge misplay. That was a huge misplay. And you know what? Such an aggro deck. I think we could play a third match in a video. Don't think I've ever played three full-length rank matches in a video. I've played, I think, maybe three if like somebody surrendered really quickly, or I surrendered. But at 20 minutes, figure another game will take about another 10 minutes. The video will be on the longer side, but don't want to cut the video too short and make a make it end right now. Okay, playing Magmar. I've noticed I have a, I've had I haven't had as much luck against Magmar recently because their sister, the Earth the Earthgate sister, is really, really strong. And I haven't quite figured out how to counter her. Um so first turn we'll probably play the Araki as well as here, let's get rid of the Crystal Cloaker. Crystal Cloaker has the deception of being a good turn one play, but you don't realize that you're not going to have the infiltrate on turn one. Okay. And we'll move up. I'll go ahead and get rid of the Frostfire early on. Okay. Cybertron Tiger is not going to help because this is just going to turn into an egg and respawn. Um, so I could play two two drops. I wish this was able to be killed by my general this turn because then I'd play Hearth Sister and have fun with that. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'll be just going like this. I'll play this back here so it can't actually get hit by anything just yet. And then I'll play Bloodseer Alchemist on the Mana Springs. And they don't need it, but I'll hit this for one. So that if it decides to attack my Bloodseer or my uh, or my General, it will turn into its egg immediately. Okay. I'm, uh, I'd say I'm content with that start. Because... Dookie needs to somehow, like, not let this Araki get a huge attack on him. And I'm set up in my hand that I'm going to be able to if he doesn't, uh, get rid of him this turn. Because I have the Hearth Sister, which has opening Gambit and Swiss Position, so even if he doesn't, he thinks he's safe from this thing attacking his range, I can move him closer with the Hearth Sister. So in my hand, I only have one, one more opening Gambit minion, which is actually two more, but I. I guess I can play them both. I'd love to get 7 attack on his general. Okay, that's going to die. Um, let's see. I definitely want to get the 7 attack in. You know, Frost on Naga would be pretty good here. Maybe not because this is just turned into an egg egg regardless. Uh what do I wanna do? Is it worth it? Is it really worth applying the repulsor beast? No, right? Because I wouldn't even be doing anything. <laughs> repulsor beast I mean I could attack that for seven and move this all the way to the corner. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Let's get rid of the spell jammer. We're gonna rush hard. Okay, that actually works too. Yeah, I'll do that instead. So let's move up to. Now I will. There. And deal 7 there. He's down to 15. And 
not really a huge benefit to hitting the Sojourner and letting him draw another card. Okay, so I'm just going to let him get card draw here. Oh, he's going to play uh, Earth Sister. That's going to deal the damage to everything around, so I kind of played right into that. And that's not good. I'm getting pummeled now. Earth Sister, just so strong. I haven't lost yet. Next turn. Let's see, do I just repulsive beast to the corner or do I kill it with Sabertooth Tiger? I kind of want to save the Sabertooth Tiger for the general, that's a thing. Well, if I were to attack with Sabertooth and this, that's 6 plus 4 is 10. I'd be able to get this down to 5. Um, that's not going to work though. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the Saber Spine. <laughs> yeah, I'll get rid of the Saber Spine. Zenru Blight Spawned. That's interesting right now. I think we definitely go for the get you out of here. So now it's turn I could always just play the little flame blood next turn. Play this I guess. And another one of those good formations for him, but whatever. Okay. I'm not I'm not feeling good about this game. I think we'll have to be content with a two win and one loss video. Probably gonna take Zen Road at the stick as well. It's not fast enough. Need more that can do more damage. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of the repulsor. Yeah, nothing I can really do anymore. That that Earth Sphere is the the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll take you for myself. Destroy the egg. And play Warbird. Hanging on by a thread here. But I'm probably gonna lose quite soon. Yeah, Dancing Blades. Draw, oh, draw that. Not gonna be able to amass enough damage though. This card's pretty good for this deck. It's almost like a focus if you know scrolls. A focus. Um, well, we're gonna just continue trying to survive, I guess. Not really sure how, but it's doable. Let's get rid of that. Well, now I kind of wish I kept that, but I'm gonna have to protect my general a little bit. Um, let's deal some damage there, and I'll just hit him, bank on him not having, oh, that was stupid, I just lose the game, <laughs> whoops, well played, <laughs> that just allows him to hit back. Well, what, what, I would have draw, drawn another Saber Sun Tiger, so who knows? Maybe I would have been able to win? I doubt it. Pretty sure I had the loss there, either way. Because if I didn't hit him, it'd be tough. Well, 
that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on playing Duelist.